to come to this data mining work demo in Java, it is basically uh, uh, closeness and anonymity uh, work. See, basic uh, objective of this work is to represent a table with sensitive data in such a fashion that people cannot extract sensitive data out of it. Say for instance, we have an employee database of uh, police personnel in a specific uh, police department in Karnataka, Kulberga. We have several data which uh, includes name and their designation, their age. If a survey agency wants to have this data, he basically gets every uh, single detail of the people. So the paper offers a unique solution of presenting this data in such a manner that uh, you know such uh, sensitive information is not out. Now this is done in a uh, few ways. The first is generalization. Generalization is a technique where you know you replace the characters, common characters with stars. Say for instance if you have a name Narain uh, EN should be replaced by double star NAR, it becomes NAR and that can be interpreted as anything. Once most of the columns are generalized, then you have to group them or cluster them. Say for instance, if you are having independent ages, rather than presenting independent ages, you just uh, group them into several categories, say for instance age 30, 40 and 50 and then you represent them that age is greater than uh, to, uh, 20 less than 30 greater than 40 and so on so that you know survey agency gets all its data however none of the data is uh, you know <coughs> critical and at the same time the generalization must be done based on an entropy measure which uh, presents the correlation uh, between the values that is present in a column now once you carry out such kind of generalization the next thing is that you need to reduce the rows and then finally you have to make them anonymous again now i'll be running this uh, java work uh, you know first i'm going to fetch the data from hrmis database MIS is the core of the police department of her here with data we are expecting. Now, if you look at this uh, data, you know, middle name, surname, uh, and so on, so they, they are quite sensitive data. This is the table that presents the correlation. You can see. The correlation amongst the column is very low for first name, middle name and surname. Now that represents that they are almost unique values. So whichever are unique values are to be generalized. So I will be calling for generalized. It automatically detects that the first name has to be generalized. It iterates through uh, all the, uh, it iterates through the process and keeps on performing the generalization process unless and until. You know so as you can uh, keep on generalizing the correlation of the entropy will keep on getting changed and this process will continue till the correlation becomes very higher that means you have generalized the column so much that you know independent values are unreadable So as you can see the process as it continues it keeps on showing the current correlation value in the message box and it keeps on getting increased it's 37 percent correlation now done once it is done we will now know surprisingly the first name column has been greatly changed we have appended several stars depending upon the number of iterations and depending upon how to make it uh, you know generalize so seeing this table it becomes impossible for people to know the exact uh, name of the uh, people there are several stars and therefore the correlation has also increased the columns are 37 percent correlated to each other that means independently identifying this becomes impossible i'll again do a generalization which will take up the next column which is middle name 
currently at 11% correlation i want to make it higher than 35% So, <coughs> when you check out with the table, you know, the middle name and surname uh, is far less uh, correlated uh, because uh, <coughs> you expect them to be independent values. You know, most of the people will be having different surnames and middle name combos that will um, give the uniqueness. Okay. Now once done, it shows the middle name is about 33% and you can check this uh, out, you know, this is uh, not much identifiable, you know, the names, uh, they're gone and the same process could be carried out for, say, last name too. Now, interestingly, you see age. Uh, and you can see over here average is uh, 30 I mean uh, average unique value is 30 so for every column the number of unique values present in the columns will be represented over here so if a column has more number of repeated values say for instance age age uh, column has got 30 uh, unique values so all the other values can be grouped in this fashion if you look at uh, qualification academic and if you uh, to go for the qualification department this has got uh, 52 unique values so rest of the other values can be um, you know uh, built around this if you look at the department it has got unique values so you know all the so you can take this unique value say 18 and then can group it like how many employees are present in this department and so on so once you've identified the columns which are unique you can group the data in terms of this column so total number of columns are going to be reduced all you want to do is you want to uh, add the count per unique category so we need to say group data so it's going to take all the columns which are independent and then it's going to use the order by age because uh, uh, that has that has been selected as the uh, first unique most column once done you can see now your database is uh, converted into containing only the columns that could be grouped so this is the correlation value of age, correlation value of qualification department. So, you see, age 22, all the employees of age 22. 23, those who are 23, what were their qualification? You know, what were their previous experience? What is the department they are working? Current grade, grade code. So, it uh, brings about a new column called the uh, total that is based on each of this parameter each of the combo so age 43 with qualification hsc with previous experience uh, about nine years uh, in the stores s4 how many people are there one people now if you look at uh, this that who is having age 38 having ssc uh, with zero years experience working in QA department there are two people uh, like that so this gives you a fairly interesting uh, observation so age 24 working as ITI with zero years experience in production department uh, with current grade uh, S1 there are two people present in that so now instead of independent names you represent your database as the number of uh, unique person present for this whole combo so 